So I've just made it to my first stop in Brooklyn, but let me tell you about how I got here. Now, I don't come to New York very often, so I don't really ride the subway, so I got directions. This is what I needed to do. I needed to take the A, C, or E to 14th Street, so I was able to do that. I got that. I got on the A, got off at 14th to transfer, then I had to look for the L, so I followed all the signs that said L with arrows going left, arrows going right, arrows going diagonally, and then that train takes you to Brooklyn. Then I had to get off at Lormer Street, then find my way to my friend Adam's house. And I made it to Adam's place, and now look where we're at on the roof. So next stop, Adam, we are going to an undisclosed warehouse in Greenpoint. That, that's Brooklyn. We're gonna see if we can go hipster spotting, because there's not any hipsters in this frame, except for Adam. What's up, people? So I've made it to Greenpoint in Brooklyn for the Sony event. We're here for a Sony, what is it? I don't even know what the f All right, so I've made it to Greenpoint, Brooklyn, and I am at the location. This is the location right behind me. Why are we here? Because Sony invited us to play with this. This is the RX Zero. Don't confuse it with an O. It's their new action camera that's one inch or has a one inch sensor. So we're gonna go play with it. We're gonna check it out and see what this party has to offer. So I'm actually standing at ground zero. I didn't realize I'd be walking past this, but that Freedom Tower is absolutely insane when you look straight up. And then this behind me is where the World Trade Centers were. This is the first time I've ever actually been down here. Uh, it's pretty, pretty insane. Oh boy, it's windy here in the park. Uh, let, me, let me tell you why I was up here in New York. The main reason is that I was sitting down with the people at Apple to learn more about the iPhone 8 Plus and its capabilities with its new 12 megapixel sensor. Um, they showed me how all of the new portrait modes work, which I think some photographers will get upset that some regular people are gonna be able to take things that may look better than if they didn't have the portrait mode in there. But what I wanna remind all these photographers is that even having all of the tools to do the job doesn't mean that somebody's capable of doing the job. So my main focus with this right here the iPhone 8 Plus is going to be to educate people on how to utilize the functions that Apple has built into this phone, the portrait modes, the live photos, the editing, and also the screen recording to educate people to better help them get more professional looking photos by using composition and the, and the rules, the rules that have never changed and will never change no matter who's taking pictures. Now there's more people taking photos today with iPhones than ever before. There's more pictures taken every day with those iPhones, billions and billions of pictures. I just wanna help people love photography and get better photos no matter what they're shooting with. So this has been a pretty quick trip up to New York City, less than 24 hours, uh, but I got to meet with Sony, I got to meet with Apple to learn about the iPhone 8 Plus and its capabilities, I got to ride the furry, and I got to check out the, uh, the Freedom Tower. But now it's time to get back to Philly, but before we do that, if you haven't checked out the latest vlogs or the last vlogs that I've done, they're up on the screen right now on YouTube. If you're watching this on the Facebooks, please go ahead and give it a share, and don't forget to subscribe if you're on YouTube. I'm gonna go back to Philly.